How are you judging your people? I don't get that shit. I'm in junior high with a B plus grade. At the end of the day, I don't hit the arcade. I walk from school to my mom's apartment. I gotta tell the suckers every day don't start it. Cause where I'm at, if you're soft, you're lost. To stay on course means to roll with force. How are you blinded at? Niggas been telling y'all for years how people get wrapped up in this shit. Let me recall this one incident in response to these kinds of comments that I keep having to delete. I have plenty of incidences like this, but I'll just give one. Now, maybe I think it was like three years ago, my boss got a contract with the airport contract. Maybe I think worth a hundred thousand dollars. We worked 10 hours the first day and our second day we was out there about 45 minutes. Second day, I'm about to get on this cherry picker type thing. I don't know what it's called. I didn't know what I was doing, but I was told to get on it and I got on it because I got to eat. So we raising up on this thing and out from the office area comes this dude in a lining jacket waving us over to the office. We come down, go to the office. My boss sitting there and said, come on, let's go. I said, how come? Boss said, never mind, I'll tell you in the van. They told us to leave because they found out that me and another co-worker had felonies. She was a former hoodlum as well. Now, when I talk about Taz, people will post certain kinds of comments on these videos about how he's a thug and a felon and all this other kind of stuff. And I received these kinds of comments like you're that dude in that lining jacket who told me I couldn't eat there because of things I used to do. I haven't been locked up in, I think, 13 years. But my record still has pinned me down or limited my options. 13 years still won't go away, though following a nigga around even on my comment boards and I don't make those silly excuses for ill niggas like Taz do talking about people gotta sell drugs and do this and do that because of society but y'all bring justification to his excuse making you think you're not attacking me and I don't think you intend to but I'm telling you that you are and this could be avoided if you just stick to what I'm addressing Taz about, which is which which in a nutshell is his warped perception of what being pro black is. And I don't care that Taz makes y'all feel bullied and unappreciated. As a matter of fact, I'll be smiling when I listen to y'all crying about how mean he is to y'all. What's up, everybody? Look. But you say you, you got your blood roll, your snacks ready. You just waiting on me. Well, I'm I'm in the house. How everybody doing this evening? Right? So I think that's a great idea. Look, there you go. Somebody, y'all got a little lot. Y'all got a big backyard. Y'all better start y'all little hood farmer's market in this mug. Get down with that EBT. And then homie wanted to know we take AB, EBT. You can tell him you take EBT. Put that sign up in that yard. Set them little baskets of fruit up and sell that shit. <laughs> Same thing y'all do on these videos I do to meet you. She ghetto and this and that. Now listen, I don't know this lady away from YouTube, but based on what I see here, you know how many females I've been in relationships with that's just like her? I got family members that's just like her. I have many homegirls who I mostly see at funerals of childhood buddies we all had that's just like Michi. Again, I don't know her. I only know her persona here. And she's just like a bunch of people that's been in my life. And this could be avoided if you just stick to the subject instead of telling me about how you feel about her or Taz. Another example of what I mean to inadvertently diss me. Videos I do to China Fox attacking her and her fake black power rhetoric. People will come to the comment board calling her fat. Now let me grab a percentage from somewhere. When you call her fat, you're talking to a dude who I'd say maybe 60% of the females I've dealt with have been big girls. So when you diss her weight, you're dissing my taste in females. Just stick to the subject. And I'm not against cheap shots. I take my cheap shots at people. So basically what I'm saying, though, is know who you're talking to.